James Downs is a Cambridge University graduate, now studying for a PhD. But he also has a hidden disability. James has bulimia and used to receive disability living allowance, which paid for his counselling. But when the system changed, his benefits were stopped. I think that at my lowest, if I'm honest, I felt very suicidal and more than that, I actually had plans and, and acted on them and ended up being admitted to hospital and seeing the crisis team, which was something that I had avoided for a while because I'd got that foundation from having benefits, which were actually protecting me. And you can see that taking them away had this huge cost. James appealed at tribunal and eventually won, along with more than 118,000 other disability benefit claimants. They're now receiving back payments, but have been denied the right to compensation. It's not good enough just to say we're going to pay arrears without paying them compensation. And that's not, that's not doing good, that's in line with good public policy and in line with Treasury rules. Doesn't this sorry start saga of maladministration prove once again that disabled people are worse off under this government? Today, the government apologised for the error but stopped short of offering compensation. In these situations, we're typically not compelled to uh, come forward with blanket compensation payments, but we will, we will consider the, the uh, views have been put forward by the report. James says the system must change. Nobody wants to be in a position of claiming benefits and nobody wants to be unwell. Then having additional barriers to getting just the basic quality of life that we all deserve is, is just not good enough for disabled people. James says when his benefits stopped, he was threatened with eviction and feared he would lose his home. He's now getting the payments he should have received, but recovering from the stress will take much longer. Leila Hayes, 5 News.